welcome to another Ramble Radio. But you know it's video, right? What? Yeah. It is. Video. It's also radio. What? Hey, oh, oh, what I'm trying to say. Oh. Look at that. Is that their dumbest song? Hold on. We got to get our guest. There he is. Oh, naked hey, Cody. Cody. Hey. Cody, is that Yo. the Chili Peppers' dumbest song? Hey. Oh, Sna- what I'm snow. That's right. Snow. Is it, snow. I always thought it was oh. hey, oh, what I'm yeah. trying to say. Snow. Yo. Snow. Hey. Hey. Snow. Um, hey. Oh, hey. Snow. To... I don't know. I think Get On Top is a bit of a silly song. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I mean, look. Give it away. Spectacular. Every well, Blood Sugar they, Sex Magic, I like that brilliant. album. Brilliant. Top to bottom, brilliant That's record. That's a good album. But everything after that seems to... Eh, look, look. I like Californication. I like the one they did with Dave Navarro because yep. it's more different. But they have a lot of... But every song after Blood Sugar Sex... Every song since they made Californication sort of sounds like... It's either Under the Bridge or, or Give It Away. Yes. That's it. They've rewritten those. But yes. I like the ones where they rewrite Under the Bridge better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. Californication. I like that one better. Than the beep 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 shit that they do, you know, like that's just you know. I I mean, I still like it. Does that make sense? Yeah, because I like the. I know a lot of people out there hate the Chili Peppers. I could never hate the Chili. I don't hate them. No, no, I could never hate the Chili. I don't own a lot of their albums. I own a couple. I I think I own most of them. I think I have Blood Sugar Sex Magic. I think I had. uh, I have Californication. That's a great one. Those are the only ones I have. Suck My Kiss is a great song, dude. My okay, look, work. This is Blood Sugar Sex Magic talk. Apparently, we're bringing it. Okay. Killing the girl is that's up there. Killing the girl's good. That's a fucking ooh. New Jesus. Orleans was that or a uh, sitting on a sack of beans. Yeah. What's, what's the name of that song? Oh fuck. Just sitting down, New yeah. Orleans. That song, I like that song. Cody, do you have a favorite Chili Pepper song? Now that we talked about the dumb ones, uh, I really like Around the World. Oh, that's a good one. Around the World's good. That's a good one. That's a real good one. That's off Red One Hot Minute, right? The Dave Navarro one, right? No, it's the first yeah. track off of California. Kitchen, that is, that's right. I'm sorry. I was thinking of Airplane. That's the Dave Navarro one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the warped one. That was in Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, that that's right. That's right. Yeah. Look at look at how much we've learned about the Chili Peppers already. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that's what you learn here on the Ramble. You learn a you lot. You learn nonsense. About, you, <laughs> this is not nonsense. We didn't change the guys. Oh, shit. Should we move them around? No, it's we just, is I, it you too know late? what happened. I just set them up. I knew you were coming over on God. Friday. And I just, well, should we put her over there? Let's, tra- her let's trade Wolverines. There we go. We put that, that X-23 that, Laura That here. shows that we put a little now effort in. Now it's another day. <laughs> we put effort <laughs> in. It's a different. We wore the same clothes because it's we're quarantine, but it's a different day. To, right. This That's is Friday. What doing. That's what we've been doing. Yeah. Come on. Man, what else has been happening, huh? In life. Oh... I don't know. I don't know. I don't. So we're we gonna have sports again. You're on a sports show. Is that ever gonna happen again? I don't know. Because I'm, I'm really getting pumped about this draft. Do you see yeah. uh, James? Was it James Jones from NFL Network said he'd be surprised if the Cowboys weren't the number one seed? Stop it! That's what he said. And I'm like, stop it! I'm like, James, with that defense, I would be very surprised. With if that the defense, one seed. the number one seed? I don't even. Can I say this? And you know me, and you know Naked Cody. There is no team we love more than the Cowboys. <laughs> However, with that defense, we ain't going to be the number one seed. I don't know if we're going to be the number one seed with that offense. We lost Travis Frederick. I, yeah. mean, I mean, I don't. And you don't know how. I don't know. I, 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 you don't know how they're gelling with McCarthy. And, and everybody talks about how the Cowboys offense was so highly rated. Do you know why they were highly rated? Because the first like three weeks of the season, they beat the shit out of awful teams. Yes. That was it. They ran up a lot of yards and a lot on of points. On the Giants. Awful Stop deep. it. The Giants, Giants were, were terrible for yeah, a long I mean, time. Come on. It's so I don't know. Cody, what are your thoughts? Are the Cowboys going to be the number one seed? Do you say, would, or do you agree with that statement, or do you think that's ridiculous? I don't think they will be. No, I don't see I, it either. I, I mean, I, I, yeah, they added a, a, a seventh playoff team to each conference. Yeah, so there's an extra. So they, they more than likely they'll play. They'll be a playoff team. I think they might win the division, but they that's could not win the division, much. but that doesn't say much because the Eagles and I think the Eagles and the Cowboys are kind of the same teams uh, right yeah. now. I think the Eagles. You guys are on the way up. The Giants, I think, are going to suck for a long time. I think they're going to suck too. Skins are on their way up. I think the, e- the so Eagles are, like are on their way down, away. but yeah. they're still probably the second best yeah. team in the division. And the Cowboys, they're I don't just know. In this eternal limbo of. Cowboys they, didn't get better. They didn't get worse. If anything, their defense got worse because they lost some free agents. They lost guys, yeah. I mean, I, I again, if Mike McCarthy is some fucking savant, then okay. But great, he wasn't right. with the Packers, and he had Aaron Rodgers. He won a Super Bowl in 2010, yes. Yeah. Took him to the playoffs a lot. He took him to the playoffs a lot, but he was also in the NFC North, which was not a great division no. for a long time. So has Peyton sucked in for only getting one with Drew Brees so far that we know of? Yeah. I guess. You, know, you can't suck if you coach a Super Bowl. Vi- well, Switzer. 
<laughs> we did it our way. We did it, baby. We did it our way, baby. <laughs> yeah. We did it. We did it Jimmy Jones way. When you gave me Jimmy's team and I took Jimmy's playbook and we did the same thing, baby. We did it. <laughs> we did it Jimmy's way. I mean my way. They quit on me last year and still almost won the NFC Championship game despite me. We still did it. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that is like I know Aikman always talks about oh, that, fuck. but that was one of my. I thought that was one of the like yeah, the, a great moment even though they lost was that NFC was that NFC Championship game against the Niners because that was that's how you knew a, how good that team was. They quit on Switzer right. the first quarter, the first half of that game they quit on Switzer, right. and then the second half they're like you know what fuck this guy let's win in spite despite let's, of let's him. get a ring with this team while it's still together while it's still together and they almost did it had it not been for that Dion pass interference yeah. on Irvin. Who knows? But like, yeah. So like that this, was... sometimes, you know, I'm an atheist, right? But yes. every once in a while, I'll believe that there's a God. Yeah. And, yeah. and I believe I believe sometimes things happen like Barry Switzer has a Super Bowl ring. Yes. He has a Super Bowl ring. Yeah. He coached the NFL for three, four, three four years, years, three, four years, yep. got a Super Bowl got ring with ring. someone else's team. Yeah. Marty Schottenheimer yes. coached in the NFL. For like twenty years, twenty years took awful franchises to the playoffs. To the playoffs, the he was Browns? like Don Nelson. He was like Don Nelson. Almost took the Browns to the Super Bowl. Yep. One fumble away. Biner <laughs> the football. One biner is naked. Ernest Biner behind us right now. <laughs> One biner fumble away from a Super Bowl. Uh, oh, took the fuck. Chiefs from an awful team to a, a perennial contender with Marty Ball. Took the Redskins to eight and eight in one season. An awful team. They were like one and fifteen. They were zero and four. Well, they were zero and five, and then finished the season eight and eight. That's right. And then he took over. Snyder fired him, and then he took over the Chargers. And he had multiple. I think he had a couple, twelve wins and a fourteen win season. Yep. Well, the greatest coaches in NFL history never got never got a ring. Switzer. And the reason I think there's a god, he gave him Alzheimer's, so he wouldn't fucking think of any of that shit. He <laughs> wouldn't have to remember this. Yeah. So he wouldn't have to remember, oh, Barry, Sw- wake up every single night. Barry Switzer has a ring. Barry Switzer has oh, a ring. fuck. Nope. God gave him God. Alzheimer's, so he wouldn't have that to is... deal with that pain every night of God, his life. God, that's rough, huh? <laughs> that is, that is or maybe so it's just random might be, might be. Cody, do you, did you ever see the fumble? Have you ever seen that moment? Oh, uh, man. I don't know. So the Cleveland Browns. Oh. Are playing the Broncos. The second, this is, this is second. the fumble was was the drive. The first one was the drive. The rematch. drive was the first one. Okay, so they were beating the Broncos the first AFC Championship yeah. game the year before, and Elway had this miracle drive that they just call the drive to score a touchdown with like a minute left or something like that. Yeah, like they went ninety went, yards. Send them into overtime. Yeah, send them into overtime, and then they win it in OT. And then they win it. OT. And it was called the drive. Called the and drive. then the very next year, Browns Broncos again. This one, the first one, the drive was in Cleveland. Drive was in Cleveland. This one, the next year, this is the eighty-seven AFC Championship in Denver. This was in Denver. The Broncos are killing the Browns, killing them, destroying the Browns. Browns mount this furious comeback. In Insane. The Insane. Comeback. Nothing can stop them. They're, nothing. The Broncos are throwing everything at them. The Browns are just going up and down the field at will. It was crazy. And it was. Cr- <laughs> you got to watch this on YouTube, Cody, because we're going to spoil it though. But we was it a tie game at no, the? No, they would have won the game. That was it. Like yes. they, they, so they were down like three or something like that. They were that, down right? by more than three. I feel it was goal like four or like five. Four or five. Right. Okay. And Ernest Biner, great player. Great. Won a Super Bowl with the Redskins. Won a Super Bowl with the Redskins. Really solid running back. Cody, it is like third, first, first or second down. First or second down. Uh, or goal, I think. It, oh, it is goal. They're was inside it first? the five. Was it, yeah, they were inside the five. Kozar <laughs> yeah. hands it off to Ernest Biner, There's Cody. There's nobody. There was one guy kind of <laughs> There was him. one guy near him, and he's going, and the one guy who is near him. Puts a finger on the ball. Knocks the football <laughs> out of his arm <laughs> right as he's about to cross the goal line. Oh, it's You hurting. hear, I think it was, was it Dick Enberg? Viner. Fumbles the ball. ball. <laughs> it is the craziest. It's heartbreaking. It is beyond heart. There's the, as a sports fan, it's heartbreaking. Unless you hate the Browns, it's, it's a heartbreaking heart, moment. It is beyond, and I. this is going to be mean. I'm sorry to say this, but it. I guarantee you if Schottenheimer, yeah, he has Alzheimer's. Yes. The look on his face yes. right now yeah. is that same look he had. When they cut to him, he has no idea where he is. He doesn't want to believe that what happened. Ju- I mean, they just punched their ticket to the Super Bowl. Yeah. The, and I mean, he, they were getting smoked by the Skins. The Skins but, were going to destroy Because the Skins destroyed the Broncos. They, just, they were going to obliterate them. But, but they, still. He, they was, he almost took Cleveland to the Super Bowl two it years was, in a row. That's not fair. He deserves He should have had a ring. Barry Switzer has a ring. Barry Switzer has That's a ring. insane to me. 
Harry Switzer. Right. <laughs> Traveling with <laughs> such a shitty a gun- football coach in college that Trey Aikman's like, I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm not going to be here. And then he goes to UCLA. Taking a gun to call to an airport there when he was still the coach of the Cowboys. <laughs> Fucking God damn it. Getting into this. Oh, man. It just, yeah, that was. Fucking! You should look up the fumble, Cody. It is. I definitely will. It's a heartbreaking. It is the most. I'm trying to think of a more gut wrenching moment in sports history. I don't know. I mean, Norwood's field goal miss to beat the Giants. That's that's a championship, right? That's the Super Bowl. That's the Super Bowl. And it's just wild. What about? um, And it's not a terrible field goal. Yeah. What about Edda, Eddie George falling like a yard short in that oh, Super Bowl? Yeah, that was that close, was but it wasn't like he was tackled pretty square up. It wasn't yeah. the same. Like had had he tripped and fallen and then yes. got touched, that's like that would have been. But that he was, was like, he was covered yeah. and just two yards short. But Whew, maybe that Michigan Michigan. I mean, State maybe game. if McNair holds that ball for another half second to get George it's across a, a little bit farther, just farther than he can yep. get in. If McNair doesn't throw it as soon. Uh, Maybe that uh, – what, what was the one? The fucking – I just said the 2015 Harbaugh's first year at Michigan against Michigan State oh. with the punt where the guy just – oh, Ooh, fuck, that fuck. was rough. Oh. They were up. Yeah. They were winning. Uh, if the guy had just fallen on the football, yeah. that probably is <laughs> over. <laughs> but instead, the kicker fucking tries to grab it. Loses and his mind. God damn. <laughs> I mean, I don't give a shit about Michigan or oh. Michigan State, so it wasn't that hard. No, but thing. fuck. Yeah, the Man. Browns one. That to me, the Biner one. Biner is just, loses, and I'm there's not just that not. shot of all the confetti coming down, and all the Broncos cheering, and Biner's just like on his knees. Oh, just in the end zone because he fell zone. into the end he zone. He fell into the end zone. <laughs> his momentum took him into the end zone after the fumble. God oh, damn, that's heartbreaking. That's rough. Heartbreaking. That is Jesus Christ. Uh, I think we. I think we have a couple listeners that are Browns fans. I, think I, think, just, I feel. I know. Probably, we're sorry. We're so, we're probably look, sitting there shaking. This like, no, st- no, not again. <laughs> this started by talking about how Marty deserved better. He did. He deserved That's so much it. better. He deserved a Super it. Bowl. That right. dude deserved a Super Bowl. Marty Ball. Marty Ball. Man, that was anyway. And Barry so, Switzer has one. And Switzer has. We one. did it, Jimmy's way. We did it. We did it our way, baby. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Amazing. It's so, yeah. It's, but isn't that weird that Troy Aikman won Super Bowls with two coaches who kind of implied that they didn't, that he didn't want to have anything to do with him either way? Because, you know, Jimmy brought in Walsh, yeah. who he won the championship with. He was trying with. to get Walsh to be the, Walsh to right. be the starter. And he, he went with Burline. Remember that? Yeah, like, yeah. even when Troy was healthy, he yeah. went with Burline. And then he brings Troy back to lose and to the Lions. And even Kozar won the NFC championship game. Kozar for them. won the first championship game. Yeah. And so, but then apparently it was after 91 or 90, yeah. where Jimmy finally told Aikman, look, you're my guy. But you know, Aikman bailed on. He was Switzer. trying to everything. He there is a famous story where he almost he he told one of the Dallas Morning News guys, "I'm demanding a trade after this." And he the guy was like, "All right, can I print this story?" And Troy said, "Just give it, just give it till tomorrow." And then that's when Jimmy called him in and said, "Look, you're my guy." And that was it. That's what saved it. The Cowboys would oh, imagine. I can't believe Aikman wanted to stay there once Switzer got hired. I know. Oh, there was I mean, talk. he left UC, He left Oklahoma for UCLA for you, to get away from to Switzer. get away from Switzer. Yeah. It was, oh man, yeah. <sighs> I guess uh, is it? T- well, that's a whole sports uh, ramble. All radio. sports yeah. ramble radio. We're sorry to the non. We hope we still liked it. Hope you guys still like it. I it's mean, entertaining talk. We is hope it not. Right? Fuck yeah. But I don't want to. Is it sports? I guess. Dex. Um, okay. Uh, <sighs> we know you. You own a restaurant. I'm sure you guys have happy hours and play sports oh, there. I'm sure, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, what sports moment do you think about the most wor- working at a, at a restaurant, having uh, sports nights and stuff? What, what was the greatest sports moment you can remember in your restaurant? Well, you know, we let everybody pick their lobster to boil. And it works for a lobster or a mouthy broad at your table. <laughs> well, that just... Okay. That's, I, can have that's, I don't know why. I wish I could talk about lobsters when I ask him about sporting events. I don't know. A year. It's, it's, it's almost like he's not even listening to the <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> it's like he doesn't pay attention. <laughs> so fucking Son asshole. of a God. fuck. I hate this guy. Anyway, we're sorry. Thank yeah. you for listening to another Ramble Radio. This video. It's also radio. It's fuck fucking yeah. wild. And it's a different it? day. And it's a different day. Because this guy's over here. Now. Yeah, Wolverine's over there now. And, uh, man, Cody, where can all the fine folk find you? Let them know. Uh, 
Cinesnob Cody on Twitter, but mostly Corin stream on uh, your podcast uh, apps or wherever you find it. And if you're on Apple, a five star uh, rating and a positive text review would be very helpful right now. So pretty please do that. Eddie. Do it. Uh, find me five days a week on Patreon.com on the that. Ralph Report. Look at that. Uh, Mondays and Fridays on Radio.com. Swings and misses while we're on uh, furlough. Look at this. Uh, and then uh, Wednesdays we have Bramble Classic comes out. And then Tuesday, Friday we have uh, this lovely, this lovely adventure that we do. Uh, me every Monday. I'm the smug nerd with Eddie. Nice. Uh, every other Thursday I do my retro rocha on YouTube. Please follow that. Subscribe to that. Please subscribe to the Ramble. Give it a five star rating yes. and a positive text review. And also, lastly, uh, my Twitch. I'm trying to Twitch every night during corn steam. Corn, corn. I've oh. got Cody. I'm Look Cody. At that. I'm giving. It's in plug. the lexicon now. Yeah, doing quarantine. Uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've been try- I'm trying to Twitch every night. So twitch.tv forward slash Retro Rocha. A shit ton of ramblers jumping in, begging nice. for you and Colton to do this too, I, buddy. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get uh, him a little, little, little streaming. capture card. A little Hell capture yeah. card. Yeah, then we're going to jump in. Fuck yeah. It's going to be awesome. So, all yeah. right. Well, thank you very much. We love you guys. We'll see you next week.